Okay, I didn't know that you can do this with Gemini. So these are actually two separate pictures in just one generation. And actually, you can create not only two, you can create four images at once or maybe even six images at once using Gemini AI. So this is actually not a feature that was explicitly mentioned by Google and I just accidentally discovered this capability and Gemini. So let me show you how you can create multiple pictures with just one prompt in Gemini AI. Now, before I'm showing you how you can do that, you might be asking, why not just creating one picture at a time? Well, you could do that, but in some cases, you might want to generate two, four, or maybe six images at once. For example, if you are a fashion designer and then you are not so sure whether you should be uh, you know, designing a dress with blue or red color, you can actually tell AI, tell Gemini to create multiple variations of that dress. Or maybe you are a hairstyle and you don't know what is the hairstyle that is good for the particular person. Then you can ask Gemini to generate variation of hairstyles uh, using just one simple prompt. So let me show you how you can do that. First, let's navigate to gemini.google.com or you can also use the mobile app version. And then here, I do recommend using Gemini 2.5 Pro. That is the model that has been quite consistent. But if you're watching this video in the future, maybe years down the line, where there is probably new AI models from Google, then just use whatever model that is available on your account. At this time, I'm using Gemini 2.5 Pro because it happens to work in my case. Now, here you can describe the image that you want AI to generate. So here, let's say I want to just generate, let's say four pictures. So I'm going to be using this prompt, generate four pictures of, and then you can provide some description. In this case, I want to create uh, four pictures of, let's say beautiful young woman from various countries. And let's say picture one, Picture one is, you know, let's say a woman from USA. Picture two, that's a woman from, uh, let me think. Okay, Argentina. And then picture three, woman from Japan. And lastly, picture four, woman from, let's say, Egypt. There you go. So this is the prompt that I'm going to use, and I do recommend to specify the description actually the image that you want to create for each picture especially using this format is very useful and now do not enable image generation now it might be confusing because you want to create images and therefore you might want to enable this option but throughout my testing when you enable this option gemini is consistently rejecting my request to generate multiple pictures so do not use this do not use this option but make sure that your prompt contains some keywords like generate pictures or create pictures or create visualization. So Gemini will know that you're trying to create multiple pictures. It is very, very important. When you're done with the prompt, you can send a message and just wait for this AI tool to think uh, before creating images because this is a reasoning model. And hopefully it will create multiple images. I said hopefully because Again, I'm not sure whether this is a feature or a bug, but so far it's kind of, I would say, 80% successful, but sometimes it might still rejecting your request. So I'm hoping for the best that it is able to generate multiple pictures. And by the way, you can actually see the thinking process and hopefully it is not rejecting anything. Okay. Oh, that's really good. There is woman from USA, woman from Argentina, Japan, and Egypt. Yeah, that's really good. So four images created at once with just one prompt. Isn't that cool? So I'm hoping that this is a feature, this is not a bug, and I'm hoping that there's going to be more option or settings in Gemini to actually specify the number of pictures that you could generate. And by the way, I have tried creating eight different pictures, but it doesn't work. And so far, six apparently is the highest number I could get for creating pictures at once using Gemini. So I have learned something from this video. And if that was the case, then feel free to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on my next video. I wish you a great day ahead.